give it its mind. No one gave me the flashlight first. <sighs> nah, 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 nah. Give it back, you butthead. It's mine. Now, sit still and listen. You girls might learn something. Now it's the story of creation, of how the raven steals the light to free the world from darkness. Back in time, when there were no stars and no moon to light up the evening sky. In the beginning, the earth was veiled in complete darkness. Inky, pitchy, all-consuming dark, blacker than the emptiest reaches of space. You can imagine it was very difficult to get anything done. And one animal in particular, the raven, was pretty frustrated with the state of affairs. <coughs> see where I'm going. How am I supposed to find something to eat or find a place to sleep? I have boxes within boxes. And in the smallest box is all the light in the world. And it's mine. All mine. Skyfather, if you shared the light, I could find a husband, and... Hush, Earth Daughter. I can never give up any of the light. Not even to you, my child. Sky Father's fear was that Earth Daughter would leave him, and he would be alone forever. <coughs> that old man doesn't know what he has. With the light, I could fly all day, steal food, hide among men, and play practical jokes. But how do I get in that house? Ah! As luck would have it, just at that moment, Sky Father's daughter left the house. If only Sky Father could understand that when the light is freed, I can meet a husband and have my son. Raven was a crafty creature and quickly transformed himself into a pine needle that drifted into Earth Daughter's drinking water. As she swallowed, he settled deep inside of her and found himself a nice warm spot and went to sleep. Earth Daughter went along with her daily chores, not realizing there was life stirring inside of her. And then one day, she gave birth to a very odd-looking child with a long, beak-like nose, a few feathers here and there, thick black hair, the shining eyes of a raven, and he was noisy. <laughs> His main cry was between a spoiled child and an angry raven. But sometimes he could slip into soft, dulcet tones and beautiful sing-song. Earth daughter, what does my grandson want? What is he saying? I can't understand him. He is asking for the box to play with, Skyfather. Skyfather could see no harm in giving his grandson the largest box to play with. This satisfied the boy for a moment, but he kept asking for the smaller box to play with until only the smallest box remained. Please let me hold the light, Grandfather, just for a minute. You know I love you like my own son, and have given in to all your demands. But this I cannot do, little one. The light is mine. All mine. Earth Daughter, who could not deny her son anything, 
grabbed the box and tossed the ball of light to the delighted child. So caught up in the sight of the new world, the raven never saw the eagle's shadow until it was almost on top of him. I am hungry, little bird, and I want that ball of light! Ah! This light is my eagle! I stole it fair and square! As the raven led the eagle on a high-speed chase through valleys and over waterways, part of the ball of light fell into the mountains, breaking off into one large piece and many smaller ones. When I am done eating you, little bird, I am taking the stars, the moon, and all the light back with me. It's mine! All mine! The chase continued far across the ocean before the eagle tired and turned back. The raven was so exhausted as he made his way back to land, he dropped the remaining ball of light where it began rising on the horizon. As the sun dawned on a new day, it illuminated Earth Daughter walking towards a man who was definite husband material. The eagle saw this from the sky. He knew that he had lost his daughter and flew off in a rage. What happened to the raven? And how, how could he change into a pine needle and become a man? <laughs> Loves of my life, the raven lives on in these stories and in our imaginations. As far as turning into a pine needle or a man, well, the raven can change into anything she wants. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>